What up, YouTube? Billy G again, Rise Liquid Vapor. Uh, this is my second video that I'm going to put out for the channel here. Um, you may have seen the intro video. That was just a quick intro video. Um, not every video is going to be just me talking to you face to face on, in my bedroom here. Um, I will be out and about um, filming videos at shops and all that. Um, actually, tomorrow I'm going to uh, a convention, a cloud convention, vapor convention in Miami. Um, and I'll be shooting some video there as well. Um, but I wanted to put another video up and kind of go through our Crunchy Captain. Um, if anyone knows me, has been following me for a little bit, um, you all know this is my daily right here. Um, this is my favorite juice that we put out personally. Um, everybody has to have their favorite. And even and for me, in the Rise line, it is this one. Um, flavor profile again, it's right on the back. It says, simply the flavors of your favorite breakfast cereal, delicious. And I have to admit, it's delicious. Um, there are a few captains on the market today. Um, cereal blends, if you will. Um, I honestly like ours better than a lot of the other ones. Um, and I think the reason is we, we have a milk flavor and they're also kind of tastes like the milk at the bottom of the bowl, you know, that you, that you drink after you, um, you're done eating the cereal. Um, so I think that's why I like ours better than a lot of the other ones. Um, I'm going to drip today. I, don't, I, I do have it in my tank, but uh, for, for the purpose of this video here, uh, I'm going to put it in my mutation and just give a couple rips off of it and uh, I'll kind of talk about the, the, the way it tastes in my mouth. So here's the bottle right here. I'm actually, like I said, it's my daily, so being that I am Rise, I don't have labels on my bottles. You know, that's, you know, don't need that. So, this is going to be the Mutant 26650 battery in this bad boy. Uh, and I'm using my Mutation XV4, which I guess is just the fourth run of the Mutation, which is the V4, version 4. Um, I like it. It has really good airflow in it. Um, it's got really deep juice wells on it. Um, it is... Uh, a top and a bottom airflow. Um, some people like to close some of those airflows off. I personally just leave everything wide open and try and get as much air in that as I can. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand on that. Again, I'll give you a little look. There's a mutation. Um, though you can see the top and bottom airflows. I really like this RDA. Um, you know, you can adjust it for the, as far as the top goes, you know, one, one gone, two gone, so there's only a couple holes. Or what I also like about it is you can have one side open, full airflow, and the other side closes itself off. So you have a few options with that. Um, the bottom here, you see those three screws, they also make uh, caps that will, that will actually, in fact, close that bottom off if you want to um, close the bottom off. I do find a little bit with the mutation that with the air holes in the bottom open, you do get a little bit of leakage sometime of juice. Um, but you know, since I'm dripping, I, I try to overfill it that often and the, the leakage is minimal. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple puffs off this and uh, give, you my, give you my reaction on it. I think it's really good. Um, being that this is a, a mech with a 26650 battery in there, um, I am running a dual coil setup in my RDA um, with actual Sabertooth Tiger Wire by Omega. Um, it's kind of like the Clapton's, if you've heard of Clapton coils, it's kind of like that. Um, so you can get um, more flavor out of these coils. Than you can with just standard, you know, A1 Canthal. Um, but again, I am probably, I think, with, with the calculations, and math isn't my best thing, so I use all the Ohm's Log calculators and stuff like that. But I, I, I think me and a buddy kind of figured out that this mod, oh, Facebook again, sorry about that. Um, I think this mod is actually 
coming in at about 110 watts um, per toke uh, every time I rip on it. And uh, this is a pretty fresh battery in there, so I think I'm right at 110. So the flavor isn't as good as if I was using maybe maybe a 0.2 or a 0.5 ohm coil and um, hitting at a little bit lower wattage. Um, but you know, mechs again are usually for cloud chasing and you know producing thick clouds of vapor. So. You know, I got to say on this, I was talking about the milk flavor before, and uh, one of the things that you get when you when you um, vaporize is we have different flavors that you're going to experience on the inhale and the exhale. So with the, with the Crunchy Captain here, you're going to experience the cereal flavor on the inhale. It tastes like Captain. Um, and when you blow it out, you're going to get that sweet... Um, end of cereal bowl milk flavor, which has always been my favorite of any cereal that I would ever eat. Um, whether it be Golden Grahams, which I also liked a lot, Honeycomb, you know, uh, Captain Crunch. Uh, I used to live for, for the, the milk at the end, and uh, that to me was always the best part about it. So that's about it. Um, Crunchy Captain from Rise Liquid Vapor is my daily and it is my favorite. Uh, again, 30 milliliter. Um, I am I am doing three milligrams of nicotine. That's all I really do. Um, I will do some uh, zero and threes in our line also, uh, reviewing it just so um, I give you my opinion on the taste on that and kind of you know let you to see that the clouds are the same with zero, three, or six, um, and the taste is the same too with zero, three, or six. The uh, the organic uh, food grade nicotine that we use does not inhibit taste at all in any of our flavors. So, thanks for watching. And I'll be in touch real soon.